Good morning, Bath County High School. Today is Wednesday, November 8th, and this is BCTV. The BCHS Honors Board Student of the Week is Dalton Curtis. <coughs> Dalton, a sophomore at BCHS, was chosen by Miss Leslie Workman for his work in Honors English 2. Miss Workman said that it was her pleasure to nominate Dalton for the Honors Board. Dalton is a very driven student who does an excellent job analyzing complex text. Dalton is an intelligent, honest, mannerly, and responsible young man. Ms. Workman has watched Dalton be a leader among his peers inside the classroom and be a self-motivated learner. Dalton continuously seeks to go above and beyond the tasks he has assigned in class. He constantly leads his classmates and is an example of integrity, excellence, and mutual respect. Dalton has expressed his enthusiasm for Ms. Workman's class. He says that she sets high expectations, yet is available to, to help you reach them. Dalton has described her curriculum as rigorous and college-like. Dalton says that he plans on pursuing a major in biology and minor in Spanish language studies during college. He says that Ms. Workman's class will prepare, will prepare him for college and beyond. Bath County High School will be having its Veterans Breakfast this Friday, November 10th, beginning at 7.30 and will be continuing until 9. We will also like if you will bring in any picture of any family member who has been a veteran so they can be displayed in the cafeteria. Please see Mr. Vincent for more information about our Veterans Breakfast. Seniors, you can order your senior shirts during your lunch. Shirt colors available are red, charcoal, sports gray, black, and or white. The short sleeve senior shirts will cost $10. Long sleeve shirts, $14. Hoodies, $20. Also note that XXL and up will be an additional $2 each. Hoodies, the additional price match the size. 2XL, $2. 3XL, $3. 4XL, $4. Wildcat members, Wildcat club members, permission slips for the Wildcat club reward trip will be passed out to your members during the lunches. The group will be traveling to see the Justice League movie on Friday, November 17th. Permission slips are due back to school by Tuesday, November 14th. Beta convention is quickly approaching. Any student interested in participating in an event will need to bring his or her registration money to Ms. Brandenburg by December 5th. There are also volunteer opportunities available. Beta members can volunteer to work the special needs chili supper November 11th at the Owensville First Church of God from 12 to 830. Also, the Beta Club will be visiting Ridgeway Nursing Home from 10 to 11, December 16th. Please let Ms. Brandenburg know if you are interested. Attention, STLP members. If you are going to enter an online judging event, please sign up with Ms. Robinson before Thanksgiving break. All products are due by Christmas break. These include photo products, videos, digital art products, book trailer, and many others. If you aren't sure, please check with Ms. Robinson on the STLP website. The Art Club and Band is once again selling the Peel to Save cards. The cards are $10 each. Cards have 64 coupons from area restaurants. Although many of the restaurants are in Mount Moorhead, the coupons work at any location that accepts coupons, unless otherwise noted on the coupon. This includes Mount Sterling and even Lexington. There are four Buffalo Wild Wings coupons worth $5 each. So using only two of these will get your money back. The cards are good until December 31st, 2018. That's next year, people. This fundraiser ends November 27th. If you're interested in one of these cards, track down one of your local art or band members. Seniors, if you would like to take the ASVAB test on the 15th of this month to sign up on Miss Porter's door on Tuesday, November 14th. And now, let's take a look at our fo weather forecast for this week. Today's weather will be mostly cloudy with a high of 52. Tomorrow, we will enjoy partly sunny clouds while our high returns to the mid-50s. On Friday, we're looking for a high in the lower 40s, but the big news for Friday is cold. How cold? How about 29 degrees? The weekend looks nice as our highs return to the mid-50s for Saturday and Sunday. Sunday, however, we may have rain enter the area in the next week. It's looking like it may start to dry out. Have a great day, and I'll see you here tomorrow. The Art Club will be having their next Paint Your Own Ceramics Night Christmas Edition on November 30th in the BCHS Art Room. One of the items that they have had quite a few inquiries about is a lit ceramic Christmas tree. Because of the costs involved with this item, the Christmas trees will be, need to be ordered and paid for in advance. If you're interested in ordering a tree, they come in four sizes. 9 and 1 4 inches, $25. 11 inches, $30. 13 inches, $45. 18 inches, $75. Please see Mr. Ramey for more information. The Special Needs Camp will be sponsoring a chili soup dinner and auction at Owingsville First Church of God on November 11th. The dinner will start at 4 and the auction will start at 5.30. Admission cost is adults 13 and up 
Children ages 4 to 12 is $3, and 3 and under are free. Also, veterans eat free. The Bath County High School Symphonic Band, Jazz Band, Guitar Ensemble, and Percussion Ensemble will perform their Holiday Spectacular on Tuesday, November 12th in the BCHS Cafeteria. The concert will begin at 7 p.m. and doors will open at 6.30 p.m. Seniors, please remember that the Kentucky Association of School Business Officials Scholarship deadline is October, December 15th. This is a scholarship for seniors who are interested in business or education. You must have two letters of recommendation. <coughs> Applications are on the scholarship board. In sports news, the Bath County High School Cat Bash will be November 17th. Start time for the bash is at 7 p.m. Entry fee is a non-perishable item or canned food item. So come out November 17th and get a glimpse of this year's upcoming basketball. That's all we have today. Have a great day and we will see you tomorrow.